If you're coming in on any of the M&E trains that would normally arrive in New York after 7 a.m., you're going to terminate here in Hoboken. Once that happens, you'll have paths to take to either 33rd or downtown. There'll be ferries, either the new, uh, new terminal at 39th, and you will have NJ Transit buses right out here that will take you to the Port Authority. There is also special bus service at a summit in Maplewood, which will take you direct to the Port Authority. There is regular bus service at a stations like South Orange, which will take you direct to the Port Authority. There are supplemental buses with our private carrier partners at places like Broad Street Newark that you can connect with to take you to the Port Authority. But the word of caution with this is, remember that the service you take in may not be the service you take home. Some of those are not going to be running in the reverse. So you may take a bus in, but coming home you may take path to Hoboken, and then from here the train back to your station. So again, you should know that and game that out when you go on njtransit.com, the update. I'm wondering if you could talk about what you can expect in terms of the crowds that will be here today. An extra 16,000, they said, will be moving through Hoboken. If everybody elects to take the train and get off here in Hoboken, that could be sort of the worst of the worst. And even then, it doesn't, worst is just meaning the largest number. Uh, if we don't expect every single person to have made that decision this morning. Some people will take buses, some people will carpool, some people will work from home, some people will call in sick. Who knows what folks are going to do? You know, there's a lot of talk now, so some people may be thinking, I don't even want to try this today, let me see how it happens. So whatever the number is, we'll find out at the end of the day and, and how well we adjusted to it. But that sort of is the worst case scenario. So are you going to be gauging the response today and then tweaking the services? Well, we'll certainly be looking at it all day long. We'll have folks on social media putting out information, letting them know how things are going. We'll be getting that back. So we'll be getting the perspective of the commuter back saying, I waited online, I didn't wait, it wasn't as bad as they told me, it took longer than I thought. A lot of that too will feed into exactly what happened today and that's a sort of a real live on-time reaction. 